Welcome to the Colonel Richard Hunter Political Podcast Extravaganza, where we celebrate freedom 44 ounces at a time. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mayor Bloomberg is not welcome in this studio. <laughs> I need music. Somebody cue the music. Wait a minute. I don't have any music. Oh, hey a minute. Wait. It's not even my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, my friends of the interwebs. I thought I'd share this with you. Um, I'm setting up a studio. I know I've been talking for a very long time about doing a podcast. And, you know, talk is cheap. Um, but, but literally, I was actually saving my, my nickels and dime, uh, dimes to get the right equipment. Now, by the way, I'll get to that in a minute. I was saving my uh, my nickels and dimes to get the right equipment. A lot of people, you know, didn't understand it, but I didn't want to just get a you know something cheesy and cheap and just start doing a podcast. There are people who do, and God bless them. But I just didn't want mine to be like that. I've got a lot of work to do yet. I thought I thought I would just show this is gonna be my weekend project. This uh, the the uh, Voodoo Studios, <laughs> MBV the MBV Networks, Voodoo Studios. Um. Uh, let me just tell you right right out of the gate what I got. Just I just got a few things right now. I've got a lot more to get yet, but um, uh, everything I have right now is Rode as far as the as far as the equipment goes. And by the way, this mic is a Rode um, podcaster. It's not plugged in right now, so yeah, don't anybody go. Ew, it sounds like shit. <laughs> it's not plugged in. Um, but uh, but it, it's. Like I said, I've, I've, I've been working on this for, for, believe it or not, I've been working on this for, I had to clean up this little part of the basement. Uh, yeah, that was like three hours. You would believe the shit that I've got piled up. Anyway, um, let me just go over the equipment I've got. I've got a, uh, a, P, a PSA1 Rode Studio Arm. That's this, that's this thing here. And, you know, it just kind of, uh, you know, you can move it up, back, you know. You know how that stuff works, or maybe you don't. Uh, the shock mount, which is the thing that wraps around the mic to kind of insulate it from being, you know, like if you move this, it won't make a noise on the mic. That's a PSM1. It's a Rode shock mount, PSM1. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Oh, the, well, I think I told you the mic is a Rode Podcaster. I don't know why I keep going like this because it's not plugged <laughs> in. I guess I'm just getting practice. Um, I did buy. I don't have it handy, but uh, I did buy a, uh, a pop filter, but I got to figure out how to do it because it kept making the, the arm go like that. <laughs> it was too heavy for the arm. Um, I don't know if I just got to tighten the pivot up, pivot up there or what. I'm not really even positive that I need it. Um, so I might just go ahead and try doing it like this first. Um, I haven't even tried the mic yet, but the mic is cool. Uh, well, hopefully it's cool. It's got a... It's got a um, Ear, earphones uh, in with a volume control on it. Um, I don't have the box handy, so I can't really read any of the specs. Out, but I got it all on everything you see. I, I got on Amazon.com um, for a few hundred dollars. And I, I, I was thinking about calling this setup the um, "I'm gonna kick Mitt Romney's ass" setup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna tell you what I'm talking about. You should be able to figure it out. Uh, cheap, cheesy reading glasses, but I'm gonna be podcasting, so who cares? <laughs> I'm gonna kick Mitt Romney's. Mitt Romney, you need your ass kicked. And Daddy just bought himself a new mic to podcast with. <laughs> God bless her. Mm. So anyway, um, yeah. So I'm trying to set this up. I'm hoping to start podcasting soon. Couple of things I got to do yet. Um, in the next few days, I'm gonna try to get my website set up, and that's where I'll actually host my podcast. And then, of course, I'll have them linked up to uh, um, uh, <laughs> up to my or Microsoft, Ooh, Microsoft, uh, Apple's uh, Apple Store. I guess that's where you put them. I got a lot to learn yet. I do. I got a lot to learn yet. But I'm digging it. I, I really am. I'm digging the whole idea of doing podcasting. Um, you know, YouTube limits you. But you know what I think I'm going to do, and give me some feedback in the uh, comment section, if you will, because um, my podcasts are going to be, you know, like hour-long podcasts, maybe even two hour long. I don't know. So what I'm thinking about doing is, at least for part of it, obviously not for an hour or two hours or anything like that, but for part of it, uh, put it on YouTube. Put part of it on YouTube. So whatever the main, uh, whatever the main story is for the day, or whatever the main theme is. Uh, for the day. Uh, for example, if I would have been podcasting today, I'm sure it would have been about how uh, Barack Obama has cooked the books 
in regards to the unemployment numbers. <laughs> you know, I could go on forever about that. Slimy little move of his. And that did, it was surprising. I'll be honest with you, it did surprise that. But I, I fully expect, listen, after he got his ass beat so badly in the debates, he had, he had to do something. <laughs> he had to do something. So they cooked the books. You know, they literally, they, they cooked the books on the unemployment numbers, and, you know, now that's the new narrative. That his, appar uh, look, here I'm going into this, not the whole point of this video. So you get the picture. So maybe when I do these podcasts, I'm not sure if I'm going to do daily podcasts or, you know, maybe every other day or once a week. I have no idea yet. But uh, when I do these podcasts, I probably will then at least make one, maybe even two YouTube videos out of whatever topics that I'm covering. So let me know what you think about that. And uh, if you got any advice on podcasting, I also need some music. <laughs> I need some music. So, you know, um, Z Moulton, uh, uh, Midi Punk, you know, hook, hook a brother up. You know, hook a brother up. Um, and you know what? Even Artisan Tony, uh, Colonel, your, your, your son, the, the drummer extraordinaire, I, I could definitely use some, some drum riffs. That would be really super cool. So maybe you know, you know, email me a couple. <laughs> Tell them I'll give a shout out for him. You know, I'll give I'll give him proper credit. Um, so anyway, yeah. So this is my project for the weekend. I've got an older computer. I wish I, I wish I could grab the camera and show it to you. Um, it's so funny because I, I've got this Dell. It's got a 14 inch monitor. I haven't turned it on yet. It worked the last time I looked at it, but it's like three computers back in my computer legacy. So I want to say it's probably Windows 2000. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It'll be a mystery. But, you know, um, if I can get that working okay um, and, and maybe put a, a, a wireless card in it at all and then tie it to my wireless network, then I can actually be looking at the Drudge Report or Breitbart.com or whoever and, uh, you know, be able to kind of flow with that. And, I, and that's kind of what I envision. And it's going to take some, um, it's going to take some getting used to. And not a lot of getting used to because, listen, I've always just turned the camera on and started bullshitting. So, it, you know, it's not like I've ever scripted. I mean, the, the entire time you, you've, you've watched Mad Bad Voodoo or Colonel Richard Hunter or RL Hunter 1 or Voodoo Underground or any of the gazillion channels that I have, um, never once have, did I ever script anything. Now, having said that, <laughs> having said that, uh, there were many videos that I actually did over again. So this will be a little different than that because I don't want to do that. I want to I want to just go like I'm going. If I screw up, I screw up. You know, if I if I stumble over, uh, I trip over my tongue, I trip over my tongue. You know, that's just the way it is. So, I don't know. Hopefully you guys are supportive of this. Um, I'm going to do it anyway. So, <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I'm kind of digging this. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of a neat feeling. So anyway, yeah, so the PSA1 Studio Arm, the uh, PSM1 Shock Mount, and the uh, Rode Podcaster Mic. And if, if anybody's curious, set yourself up and let's do dueling studios. <laughs> it's all I got. All right, well, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else to say. I've really got to get back to setting this up. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck. Oh, by the way, you know what I do? I'm sorry. I don't mean to make this video any longer than it is already, but I do want to talk briefly about... The young lady, the 29-year-old um, homeless woman that I met. A lot of you want to know how I met this woman. I, literally, I was gassing up my vehicle. Um, I was at a, uh, a gas station called Speedway. I don't know if you have them where you're at or not, but um, we have several of them in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, and, um, yeah, she was panhandling. And her and her friend, they were panhandling. Um, and, you know, it... it I never judge people, although I will tell you that I lived in Chicago. And when you live in a big city like Chicago, um, you realize that there are a lot of people panhandling for a lot of different reasons. And um, some of them are literally down on their luck, and some of them not so much the problem. Um, some of them are just addicted to one thing or another. Uh, that addiction may be alcohol, it may be drugs, um, it may be who knows. You know, lots of addictions in this world. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't judge. I didn't ask as many questions as I would like to have because, first of all, it was cold and it was windy. Um, I really didn't think that I would have any usable footage at all because it was so windy and I didn't have any kind of a wind sock. So, actually, I took quite a bit of footage. Almost all of it was useless except for that little bit that I put on there. Um, some of you were, were concerned about her 
uh, maybe that I should have uh, guided her towards the church or something. I will tell you that I did ask her about uh, uh, whether or not she had uh, seeked help at a, uh, a religious institution. And she said she had, and she said she didn't have much luck. And we didn't get into a, a lot of it, but um, she seemed to be a good, and I hesitate to call her a kid because she's almost 30 years old, but she seemed to be a good person, and she didn't seem to be in the least bit high um, or uh, jonesing for a high. Um, any of the, you know, the, 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 the ways you can tell that people have issues, um, you know, the geek and all this stuff. I mean, I think most of us, if you, if most of us have seen people who have had issues with substances before, and you, you kind of know the signs. Once you get to a certain age, you, you, you really do know the signs. And um, she didn't come across as anything other than clean. Now, whether or not she had issues with her husband uh, or her husband's uh, family, who knows? I mean, you know, people, you know, people have dynamic lives and people have all kinds of stuff going on. And I'll tell you, when I was a, when I was a conductor for Amtrak, I used to work um, the, the Toledo, Ohio to Chicago. And, well, and I worked Detroit to Chicago, too. Um, and I will tell you that uh, Jerry Springer, <laughs> the infamous uh, Jerry Springer show, he would, um, he, a lot of his guests would travel via Amtrak. And uh, I, and the hotel, the hotel that Amtrak put us up in, uh, was the hotel that um, I got a problem with my nose. Ugh. Was the hotel that uh, uh, Jerry Springer uh, put his guests up. Um, so, uh, yeah, I can, I've got millions of stories to tell about Jerry Springer's guests, but I will tell you that pe people are complicated, and you know, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I went down that road, other than to say that people are complicated. People's lives are complicated. Um, it's very possible that she didn't get along with her uh, in-laws. Um, who knows? Who knows? And it's easy for a lot of people to say, well, there's no way that I would allow my child's spouse not to be living with the children if they were homeless. If only the world, the world was that simple. <laughs> you know, if only the world was that simple. I mean, I don't know. Um, I gave her a few bucks, more than a few bucks. And, I mean, you know, it tried to help her out a little bit. Um, I bought her some food. Uh, we were there at Speedway, and I asked her if she was hungry, and... She said she was, um, her friend was not, and um, so I bought her, you know, I told her she got what she wanted. She got a couple slices of pizza and a milk, and her friend got a, a Diet Coke or something like that. And that was it. I said bye to them, and um, I wished them well, you know. But it is what it is. I, if I get a chance, and if the weather is conducive, I'll, I'll try to find them again. I'd like to actually do... More interviews with homeless people because there are a lot of homeless people now in this area. Now, what's important about that is that there didn't used to be. That's what's important about that. There didn't used to be. And it's kind of bizarre to me now to see that. And it tells me that the economy is not uh, doing well. And, you know, you hear you hear things about Ohio. Oh, you know, uh, Romney's going to have difficulty in Ohio because Ohio's uh, unemployment numbers are, are looking a lot better. And you know what? No. I do not give a rat's ass what he did or did not do with the automotive industry. I, I'm telling you right now that there are a lot of jobs that are no longer in existence in Toledo, Ohio, or in Ohio in general. So to say that he is uh, he is in Ro or is in Romney is going to have a difficult time in Ohio, and that's pretty much a, a slam dunk for Obama. Um, no. <laughs> no. Anyway, how did I get on all this? All I wanted to do was talk about my podcast setup. <laughs> anyway, um, listen, I'm serious about the music. If anybody's got any music they can uh, give me to use for free uh, for, my, uh, for my podcast, um, I would so be into that. It would be awesome, 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 awesome. I'd definitely give you guys the proper uh, props, props for it. And um, we'll go from there. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to work on this setup for the weekend. If I feel... If I get things running, I might, who knows? I might get a, a wild hair and start doing a podcast. I don't, I don't know. I got actually I'm a long way from that yet. But anyway, let me know what you think. Give me some encouragement. See ya.